Yes, first time we met, it lasted for like 40 minutes. She got a few work calls in between, and uh, I'm like, okay. I mean, she seems to be a very busy girl. Obviously, she's a lawyer. I think after our first date, uh, we weren't supposed to meet again. We weren't sure. So that was it, and uh, she had to leave. So this is literally her cab reaching the coffee shop, and me asking that, are you free to meet uh, tomorrow? I didn't. I didn't know. I hadn't made up my mind either way. And she said, yeah, I'll let you know. And let you know is not like the most ideal response you would want to hear, but yeah. When I would think about the guy that she would want for herself, Vishesh just fits all those criteria. The fact that my sister has found someone who compliments her so well is just the most perfect thing. The next day we met at the same hotel where we are today. Because it was in that day that we spoke at length about things that we liked and we didn't like. There was no silences to fill. It was just smooth flowing and we lost track of time. And then after that, with every progressive date, it just made it easier for us to plan things, to want to do things together. And I think that's how, over a period of time, we fell in love. See, I can tell you okay, in my life for 58 years, I have never seen a eardrop coming from my eyes in 58 years, whatever may be the circumstances. But at this particular moment, I don't know how it came out. Words of wisdom for the couple. No matter what you do, don't tell the truth if it's bad about her. <laughs> Never. Who do I think that will own the remote control? For sure, her. Vishesh, you have a tough uh, couple of years. Couple of years. <laughs> you have a tough, tough life ahead. What am I taking away from this wedding? Definitely some new dances.
Is it? Uh-